we developed this index to take a look at how large school districts in America do in providing uh, choice and competition for citizens that they serve. Most districts do not. You, know, you buy a home, and home's in a neighborhood, and you want to go to the public schools, uh, the school district tells you what school you will attend. Uh, sometimes that's fine, sometimes it's not. Uh, we think that parents uh, should have choice. They want to have it. Over 25 percent say they moved to their current neighborhood and bought a home because of the school that it provides. So we think that uh, uh, an environment of greater choice for parents is one that parents will like, and the competition that it, that, that creates among schools is likely to improve schools as they compete for parents to choose to send their child to that school. Uh, districts vary a lot. Some are in the forefront in creating better environments for choice, and some are sort of stagnating in the way things were in the last century. We thought it would be useful to take a look at how large districts are doing, to uh, rate them, to indicate how they're doing on various categories of choice, and that this, we think, will provide uh, an incentive for districts to do better as they can benchmark their performance and will cause policymakers and parents to think about what they might do for the district they're most concerned with to enhance choice and competition there. If you're going to exercise choice, you need choice among alternatives. Uh, to slip into a restaurant analogy, if, uh, if a particular city has a thousand restaurants but they're all McDonald's, you don't have a lot of choice. So we rate districts on the variety of schools they have, regular public schools, charter schools, affordable uh, private schools, magnet schools. The more variety, the higher the score. We're also interested in the quality of schools. If all, if all the schools are bad schools or if all the restaurants are bad restaurants, again, you don't have a lot of choice. We'd like for parents to be able to go online and choose from among this variety of, uh, of schools, the ones they would most like their children uh, to attend. So there has to be a process in place, a web-based process for enabling uh, that, uh, that choice. And we're interested in choice that, in, in the third category, supported by good information. Uh, if you're going to choose a good school, you have to have available to you uh, uh, information about how that school is doing, how the students are achieving, uh, what kind of services the school provides, what kind of satisfaction that students and parents uh, have, uh, have felt about uh, being served by that school. We'd like for, uh, uh, for the choice process to support, support competition among schools. So we're interested in what happens to schools as a result of their popularity or lack of popularity. If schools are restructured or closed because of failing enrollment, that for us is a good thing. If uh, money flows to schools based on the number of students uh, they are enrolling, that's a good thing. So we'd like to see uh, a, a system in which there are consequences for schools as a result of the popularity that those uh, schools generate in parents parents who can choose freely among those schools.